hi everyone i hope you all doing good in this video lecture itself we will discuss about the machining and chip formation so definition of manufacturing the manufacturing word is derived from the latin so which means manus hand factors made which means hand made manufacturing is the economic term for making goods and services available to satisfy the human wants Manufacturing implies creating value to a raw material by applying useful mental and physical labor. Manufacturing converts the raw material to the finished products to be used for some purpose. Whether the nature or industrial materials cannot be used in their nature forms for any useful purpose. The materials are then shaped and formed into the different useful components. through different manufacturing process to fulfill the needs of day to day their work which means manufacturing is the process of converting the raw material into one useful product otherwise manufacturing is the process of removing excess material from the workpiece in order to achieve the one desired product and manufacturing system and production system so what is manufacturing system a collection of operation so collection of operation is called the manufacturing system a collection of operation and the process used to obtain the desired product or component it called manufacturing system the manufacturing system is therefore the design or arrangement of the manufacturing process but the production system includes the people money equipment materials and supplies markets management and the manufacturing system so manufacturing system is the collection of all the operation and if the system consisting the manufacturing system that is called production system the big production data the big pressure so when it start from the purchasing the purchase of raw material and design engineering so we have to design what we want to do so now that is a design engineer and quality control we have to control and we have to check the quality as well the raw material condition as well the finished product condition accounting and finance so we have to fix the price for the each and every individual component and our addition research and development so already we have done the one product so how to improve the nature of need in different way so that is the research and development production and planning and control so how the all the manufacturing process are controlled and how to improve the, the process quality and their level itself that is the production and quality control and transportation and distribution so I, af, after all the process are over we have to dispatch in the product towards the customer so that is called as the big production system and machining machining are the semi finishing or finishing process essentially done to impart required or stipulated dimensional and form accuracy and surface finish enabled to product to fulfill its basic functional requirements provide better or improved performance render long service life machining is the process of gradual removal of excess material from the performed blanks in the form of chips generally machining and manufacturing both are same so in order to remove the excess material from the workpiece to achieve the desired product at the same time we have to give priority to the surface finish also and then why machining is important variety of product materials can be machined most frequently used to cut the metals variety of parts shapes and special geometric features possible such as screw threads accurate round holes very straight edges and surfaces good dimensional accuracy and surface finish and the example of a cutting process the first diagram representing the straight turning so i am having the one circular object i have to remove the diametrical area so that the <coughs> and second one cut off so i'm having the one circular object i'm able to manufacture i'm going to produce the one key slot in between the rounder object that is the cutting off and slab milling so obviously it's a shape something and end milling like a contour contour milling and disadvantages with machining so what are the disadvantages of a machining wasteful of material chips generated in a machining are wasted material at least it it in the unit of operation 
the chip will be produced to one each and every manufacturing process that is called as a scrap time consuming a machining operation generally takes more time to shape a given part given part than alternative shaping process such as casting powder metallurgy and forming a time consuming process and see, diagrammatic representation of a material removal operation so what are the metal removal operations are available lathe turning milling drilling shape work broaching and grinding these are the common six manufacturing process of a metal removal process machining cutting action involves sheer deformation of a work material to form a chip as chip is removed to a surface is exposed so here one new term surface shear deformation where is the shear region so where the work piece and tool have in a direct contact that is called as a shear region so when you look at the diagram the brown colored indicating the work work piece and the gray color representing the tool mean single point cutting tool so i am having the work piece so i am going to remove the excess material by using the single point cutting tool so the end of a cutting tool cutting that is called cutting edge so the where the cutting edge and the work piece have the direct contact that is called the shear angle so due to the shear deformation it forms a chip so how chips will be produced when the work piece and the tool having the direct contacts obviously shear deformation will be carried out due to the shear deformation chips will be produced a family of shaping operation the common features of which is removal of material from the starting work part to so remaining part has the desired geometry machining material removal by the sharp cutting tool for example turning milling and drilling abrasive process material removal by hard ab hard abrasive particle for example grinding and non traditional process so various energy forms other than the sharp cutting tool to be remove the material like unconventional machining process and chip formation yes the, when you look at the diagram so i am having the own work piece and i am having the own tool so i am going to machine the work i am going to machining the work piece by using the tool the excess material will be removed in forms of chips that is called a chip formation so when you look at the second diagram there is one shear plane which means obviously we know due to the shear deformation chips will be produced so obviously the shear region will be converted into the excess material in the form of chips mechanism behind the chip formation the form of a chips is a important indexing of a machining because it's directly or indirectly indicates nature and behavior of a work material under the machining condition specific energy requirement amount of energy required to remove the unit volume per material in machining work nature and degree of interaction at the chip tool interface the form of machined chips and depends upon mainly work material material and geometry of a cutting tool levels of cutting velocity and feed and also some extended on the depth of cut machining environment or cutting fluid that affects the temperature and the friction at the chip tool and the work tool interface knowledge of basic mechanism chip formation helps to understand the characteristics of a chips and to attain the favorable chip formation so the chip formation will, will be purely based on work material and the nature of a geometry of a cutting tool levels of cutting velocity and the speed machining environment and the cutting fluids a chip has a two surface one that is the contact with the tool face which means rack face the surface is a shiny and burnished the other one from the original surface of a work piece this surface does not come into the contact with the any solid body it has a jagged rugged appearance which is caused by the shearing mechanism yes and primary and secondary shear zone so we already know what is shear zone and which is the primary and which is the secondary and obviously where the chip and tool having the contact where the excess material which means where the chip and tool having the contact that is called primary sorry secondary shear zone 
and similarly where the work is and tool having the direct contact which means which is the origin of origin of a chip formation that is called primary shear zone the more realistic view of a chip formation showing the above figure which is shear zone and rather than the shear plane also known as the secondary shear zone resulting from tool chip friction and by span and mode of chord analogy which means a shifting of a post chord partial sliding against the each other so i am having the one of piece i am going to machining so chip will be produced and which direction it will be move obviously it is directly perpendicular to the tool movement so if tool is move move along in the horizontal way obviously the chip will be move on the vertical direction see the chip formation purely depends on the perpendicular to the tool movement yes the and by span and mode of forming metal so i am having the one work piece and tool so that 1 2 3 4 5 the numbering are representing the chip so that the chip direction will be directly perpendicular to the tool movement that is the by span and model the four basic types of chips in machining the one is a discontinuous chip and second one continuous chip and third one continuous chip with the built up edge view and the fourth one serrated chips and when you look at the three diagrams the first diagram representing the continuous chips which means the excess material will be removed in the form of continuous chip so there is no breakage so the entire chip will be in a continuous like a chain network that is called continuous chip and discontinuous chip the chip will be produced in a discontinuous level so it doesn't carrying the continuous chain having a some amount of length and it will break and having some amount of length and it will break that is a discontinuous chip and the chip with built up edge which means that continuous chip having the some amount of burr on the over surface so that burr indicating the build up edges is the continuous chip continuous chips are usually formed with the ductile material so when i am going to missing the ductile material obviously continuous chip will be produced at high rack angles and the high cutting speed a good surface finish is generally produced so if the continuous chip will be produced obviously the surface finish of the component will be increased the continuous chips are not always desirable part particularly in automated machine tools it tends to get tangled around the tool and the operation has to be stopped and clear away the chips the continuous chips usually forms under the following condition so when the continuous chips are formed small chip thickness small cutting edge large rack angle high cutting speed ductile work material less friction between tool chip and interface through the coefficient of a lubrication deformation of a material takes place along the narrow shear zone which means primary and secondary shear zone continuous chips may because of friction develop the secondary shear zone at tool chip interface the secondary zone becomes thicker as tool chip friction is increases in continuous chips deformation may also takes place along a wide primary shear zone with the curved boundaries and a discontinuous chip and discontinuous chip consists of segments that may be frimmed or loosely attached to each other these chips occur when machining hard brittle materials such as cast iron so when i'm going to machining the hard brittle materials so obviously like a cast iron obviously discontinuous chip will be produced so discontinuous chip having the structure of a segments that may not be connected or the loosely attached brittle failures takes place along the shear plane before the tangential plastic flow occurs discontinuous chip will form a brittle materials at low rack angles so large depth of cut so if i am going to give a large depth of cut obviously discontinuous chip will be produced and discontinuous chips usually forms under the brittle workpiece material workpiece materials that contain the hard inclusions and impurities or have a structure such as the graphite flakes and the gray cast iron very low and very high cutting speed large depth of cut low rack angles 
lack of an effective cutting fluid, low stiffness of a machine tool. Because of discontinuous nature, the chip formation forces the continuously varying the cuttings. Hence, the stiffness or rigidity of a cutting tool holder, the work holding devices and the machine tool are imported with the discontinuous chip and the serrated chip formation. When you look at the diagram, it is clearly representing the segmented chip. That is segmented chip is also called as the discontinuous chip. And serrated chips. Serrated chips, semi-continuous chips which alternating zones at higher shear strain than the lower shear strain. Metal with a low thermal conductivity and strength that decrease the sharply with the temperature like titanium and exhibit the this behavior. Which means if the material have the higher thermal conductivity and the higher strength, obviously the serrated chips will be produced. The semi-continuous chips have a sawtooth like appearance associated with the difficult to machine metals at the high cutting speeds. And the last chip, built up edges. Built up edge consists in the layers of material from the workpiece that are gradually depositing on the tool, may form at the tip of a tool during the process as it becomes a larger. So built up edge becomes a unstable and eventually breaks up. Part of built up edges material is carried away by the tool side of a chip. The rest is deposited randomly on the workpiece of a surface. The process of built up edge formation and distraction is repeated continuously during the cutting operation unless measures are taken into eliminate it. Which means so I am going to one kind of material. So when the built up edges formed, so actually it look like a continuous chip, but the rest of the material will be deposited and the tool, workpiece and the chip around the chip also. So it having the some gradually increasing the surfaces which means the rest of the remaining material will be deposited tool, workpiece and the chip that is called build up edges. Now when the build up edges are found, increase the cutting speed, decreasing the depth of cut, increasing the rack angle, using the sharp tool using an effective cutting fluid, use a cutting tool that has a lower chemical affinity for the workpiece material. So under these six conditions, build up edges are formed. Because of work hardening and the deposition of a successive layers of material, so build up edge has having the good hardness increasing significantly. Build up edge is generally undesirable as it results in poor surface finish. So, if the build up edge formed, obviously surface finish of workpiece will be decreased. So, it consists in the poor surface finish. A thin stable build up edge is sometimes desirable because it reduces the wear by protecting the rack face of a tool. As cutting speed increases, the size of a build up edge decreases. So, if I am going to increase the cutting speed, the size of a build up edge chips will be decreases. And the type of build up edges, the positive edge, negative edge and flat type. So, these are the three different types of build up edges. And formation of build up edge causes the several harmful effects such as is unfavorably changes the rack angle at the tool tip causing increasing in cutting forces and power consumption. Repeated formation and the dislodgement of a build up edge causes the fluctuation in cutting forces and thus induces the vibration which is harmful for the tool, job and the machine tool. Surface finish get deteriorated may reduce the tool life by accelerating the tool wear and its rack surface by adhesion and flaking. Occasionally, the formation of a thin flat type stable may be reduced the tool wear at the rack angle due to the build up edge formation. In this lecture itself, we was discussed what is machining and what is manufacturing, obviously production system and manufacturing system and what is chip, how chips are produced, what is the principle of behind work chip formation and different types of chips. I hope you all understood. Thank you.